Day one of the Star Championships may be affected by the rain forecast to hit Sydney this weekend, but an incredible day of Group 1 racing still awaits us. The stable is looking for back-to-back -back Australian derbies after Major Beale's impressive pillow-to-post win at Big Odds last year. Can Gambare, who jumps from Barrier 1, or Adagio, who jumps from Barrier 11, repeat last year's success in this time-honoured race? Yes, yeah, certainly. We're going to the race with two really good chances. Uh, Gambare, shorter in the market. He's coming through the right form lines. Brings plenty of class here. Thought his run in, in the Rose Hill Guineas was excellent. Uh, he's been primed for this particular race. I think he's a great chance. He's, he's been training well and still got further improvement to come. Uh, Dargio, an outsider, uh, but I think he'll run better than his odds suggest. Um, he's had plenty of grounding uh, over ground. I think he's looking for further. He should really relish the, the Derby trip. He's proven in the heavy tracks, so one that may relish the conditions. Storm Boy lost nothing in defeat in the Golden Slipper, and the son of Justify is in terrific order ahead of his next assignment. Can he add the sire's produce to his name on Saturday with James McDonald in the saddle? Yeah, I think he's an excellent chance. Uh, obviously, a very good run in, in the Golden Slipper. I think he's only going to be better suited stepping out to the 1,400 metres. Uh, getting back to the big track of Randwick is really going to suit him. Uh, testing conditions are, are going to be a bit of a query for everyone, but I, I do get the feeling he'll, he'll relish them. I know it is as honest as they come. He was pipped on the post by li linebacker in the Bailey Stakes last weekend, and he's on the backup this weekend, where he will step up to Group 1 level for the first time in the Sires. Has he come out of last weekend's run in good order? Yeah, he came out in really good shape, which gave us the confidence to back him up. Uh, he's coming out of a, a strongly run 1,400 metres, so he's got the got the grounding and the conditioning for, for sad day's race. Uh, it'll be a good test. He's drawn very well. Uh, he's, he's very honest, puts himself up on speed. Uh, I certainly think he'll give a good sight. Prost ran another solid race in the Golden Slipper and was doing his best work through the line after never really getting a clear run in the straight to get into top gear. He has been mixing it with the best of them so far this campaign and he is holding his condition extremely well. Can he run a big race in the Sires? He can. I feel he's flying under the radar going into this race. Uh, his run in the Golden Slipper uh, was much better than, than what it looked. I think he'll be suited by these conditions. Uh, the breeding suggested he'll really relish the uh, relish the, the, the wet, wet predicted conditions uh, and, and I think he'll enjoy the step out and trip. Platinum Jubilee has taken nice improvement from her first up start at Mooney Valley and appears to be sharper and tighter in condition. She lines up in the Group 3 PJ Bell Stakes over 1,200 metres with Adam Hieronymus in the saddle. Talk us through her chances. Yeah, unfortunately she didn't have much luck on, on that occasion. Uh, so very much a forgive run. I think she's open to, to nice improvement. I think she should enjoy getting back uh, back on, onto the heavy conditions, which she's proven at before. I guess the addition of the blinkers here, which I think will, will sharpen her right up. I think she's in good shape. You could be saddling as many as four runners in the Group 3 Carbine Club Stakes, Gold Bullion, La Vampires, The Years and Piercing Hour. Arrow. Are you happy with them all ahead of Saturday? Yeah, most certainly. Um, La Vampire, he's in, in great order. Uh, he, he's coming through the right form lines. I feel he's been unlucky. Uh, Gold Bullion is showing very good improvement at this stage of his campaign. He should relish the, the wet conditions uh, and appreciate getting out in trip slightly. Uh, the Years... Last time we saw him on a heavy track, he, he placed uh, in, 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 in the Black Opal. Uh, I think he's in good shape. He's been racing consistently, stepping up in grade, but he, he's in very good order. Uh, piercing Arrow uh, needs a bit of luck to, 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 to get a run, uh, but he is an improving type. Espionage had no luck in running whatsoever in his last start in the Group 2 Todman Stakes. He's taken nice improvement in his track work since, and we are very pleased with his trial in between runs at Warwick Farm. We're looking forward to seeing him take his place in the Group 3 Kindergarten Stakes over 1,100 metres with Tommy Berry in the saddle. Yeah, most certainly. Uh, I feel he's a class horse going into this race. Uh, looks to be a nice setup for him. Uh, he had a nice tick over trial uh, since missing the, the, the run in the Golden Slipper. I uh, thought he was kept right up to the mark. He's very strong in that trial. Um, as I said, he's, he's, a class horse. he's a class horse heading towards this race. The Provincials take place at Newcastle on Saturday. Golden Passport improved from his first to second trial and has been pleasing us ahead of the benchmark 68 handicap over 1,400 metres. What can we expect from his first up run? I've kept him fresh for this. Uh, I feel he's in good order, um, certainly off the back of a, a most recent trial, which I, I felt was impressive. Uh, he, he does improve as he gets out over further, but um, he's back in grade here from his most recent campaign. and uh, I feel he presents well in good shape. Monty the Missile will have his first career start in the Super Maiden Handicap over 1,100 metres. He has two trials under his belt this time in, and these trials have given him a good base level of fitness. Can we expect to see him fighting out the finish for Will Manning and Connections? Yeah, really looking forward to seeing him at the at the races. Uh, he, he's trialled up nicely on, on a number of occasions. Uh, I feel he's a horse with plenty of progression. Uh, this is obviously his first first career start. Uh, I think there's plenty of improvement, but I feel he's got the class to class to be very effective here. 
Rishu will also make his debut in the maiden plate over 1300 meters for dynamic syndications, which is an ideal starting point for him. Are you happy with the progress he's made this preparation? Yeah, I feel he's going better than what you've seen at the trials. Uh, he's, he's a nice horse going forward and a horse that's only going to continue to improve as he gets over further, but he's forward enough to be, to be effective first up. Uh, and and I, I do think he's in good shape. Diva Las Vegas is delighting us ahead of her first start. She made a huge impression when showing plenty of speed to win her only trial to date at Ramwick. The sectionals were extremely pleasing and she hasn't missed a beat since. Will she be hard to run down in the two-year-old maiden plate over a thousand metres? Yeah, most certainly. She she was very sharp and effective in her trial. Uh, I was most impressed by, by the natural speed that she showed. Uh, looks to be a natural, natural runner. Uh, looking forward to seeing her at the races. Uh, I feel there's a bit of upside uh, but she's she's certainly in good shape going into the run. The stable has one runner at Caulfield on Saturday. Four Valor looks terrific ahead of his third up run. Nothing went to plan in his most recent outing at Mooney Valley two weeks ago, so you can put a line through that performance. Will the step up to a mile on the benchmark 84 handicap be to his liking? I certainly think it will be. I think he gets the, the, the right conditions on Saturday. Uh, he's at the at the right stage of his preparation to uh, be putting in a peak performance, which is very much in line with what we've seen from him in, in previous preparations. He looks in good shape. Uh, I think he can be very effective uh, this time around for us.